Hi guys. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and therefore my trip to San Francisco and the 80s coke den, woo, den which actually wasn't so bad. Um, uh, all of that must come to an end, unfortunately. I'm catching a flight now in a couple hours, um, but I need to head for the airport. Um, but I figured I would do a really quick video, just kind of a recap of everything, and give you guys some sweet Dark Souls 2 spoilers, because uh, as of 9 o'clock today, we are allowed to talk about cool secret stuff. Um, so I guess it won't be as cool and secret anymore. So if you are one of those people <coughs> that uh, doesn't want anything in Dark Souls 2 spoiled, uh, you should probably turn the video off right now because this is going to be some crazy shit. Um, also, um, when you're finished watching this video, if you haven't already checked it out, Brandon is live streaming right now at twitch.tv slash Brandon505. He's giving away all the secrets. He's doing like a big ask me anything. I wish I could be there, but unfortunately I'm still in San Francisco. So he's going to get to get to reveal most of it for you guys, but uh, I will try to tell you some cool stuff. So anyways, we went to the event. <clears throat> there was unfortunately no filming, which sucked. We thought there would be, but there wasn't. But we can still talk about everything now. So guys, I gotta say, the first crazy thing is there's four ring slots now. Uh, I can't even imagine um, how that's gonna affect builds. There's just, there's so much more. There's six weapon slash, like, shield slots, and then, uh, and four ring slots, so that's really crazy. In the first, I'm just gonna uh, list off things as they come into my head. Um, in the first, like, ten minutes of the game, you have access to at least four covenants. Um, <clears throat> uh, and <coughs> when I mentioned that one of the covenants sounded like a ganker covenant, um, uh, I got a chuckle from some Namco Bandai representatives, so perhaps, perhaps there's like an actual, you know, ganker covenant beyond what we suspected from the network test. Um, oh man, what else? Uh, there appears to be a, like a cat, kind of like Alvina, um, and she offers you a co like a covenant, um, she offers, offers you entrance into a covenant. Um, there was, uh, I found the Moonlight Greatsword, or at least a, an incomplete version of the Moonlight Greatsword. It was, uh, the exact game model, but it was blue. It was called, like, the Blue Moon Greatsword, or the Blue something Greatsword. Sorry, I'm really hungover right now, so I'm trying to, like, put everything together. <laughs> um, yeah, so I found that sword, and unfortunately I couldn't use it. I couldn't level up in time to, uh, to actually be able to use it, but it required, like, 28 strength, and it had, like, just, like, flat scaling and no crazy laser blast, but I'm convinced that there's a way to turn it into the actual Moonlight Greatsword. There's an evil sun bro, so there's, like, a dude just chilling there, and you like, he's, oh, man. We tried to kill every NPC, and we succeeded for the most part um, in killing, like, Pretty much every NPC, some of them dropped their armor, some of them dropped their weapons. Nothing completely crazy over the top, but, I mean, it was just the first area of the game. We got to play the whole game. Like, not through the whole game, but we got to play the full build from the very start. So, character creation is now fucking crazy. There's, like, beards and tattoos and, like... Oh man, there's there's more options for like um, your character's like size and just kind of your proportions, which I thought was really cool. Hair looks a million times better, but you guys knew that from the the network guys. It's no longer just like an ugly texture or like a flat fucking like model that like flaps in front of your character. Um, <clears throat> what else? The hand axe is a lot less OP now. <laughs> I tried to do my playthrough using a hand axe and it was uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Um, I got killed a lot, but. Uh, you know, you, you do what you can in Dark Souls 2, especially the game's really, really fucking hard. Like, really hard. <coughs> right in the first area, it just kicks your ass. There's, like, these little wild boar things that, like, beat the shit out of you and chase you down. And, like, um, every enemy is a threat, uh, which I think is uh, an important reminder from Dark Souls and Demon Souls, where you just gotta, you've got to respect every, every enemy you come across, otherwise you're going to get wrecked. Um, oh my god, what else, uh, what can else can I just, like, list off really fast? Um, there's Divine Blessings in the game, but unfor but the, fortunately, the Divine Blessing is, like, the slowest, it's, like, the, um, the slowest goddamn healing time. I tried to use one, like, you know, like the scrub I am, and, uh, I was, you know, I was getting wrecked, I backed off a few feet, and I hit the Divine Blessing button, and my guy's like, and he went to, like, bite it, and then I fucking died. It was really, really, really slow. So Divine Blessings um, can be punished <clears throat> almost more than Estus now. 
or, or, or more than humanity, I should say, not Estes. Estes, Estes is hard to punish. Um, what else we got? Uh, I'm trying to list everything off before I go for my flight and give you guys something. Um, oh yeah, character creation. So you start the game off, so the very, very starting game, again, this is huge spoilers, if you don't want to know this, turn the fucking video off, you're, you're gonna punish yourself for this, but, uh, the very start of the game, you start off in, like, this kind of, like, dreamy area on, like, a podium, not a podium, but, like, a, a dais, I guess, is, and, uh, and your character is, has no identity, so you try to, like, look at your character, and you try to understand, like, what your character is, but, like, you have no weapons, no gear, no abilities, nothing, and, uh, the first area you go is to, like, this little hut, you see, so you walk into this little hut, and there's, uh, a whole bunch of, um, I want to call them, like, seers, or, or I guess witches, or whatever you'd want to call them, and, uh, you talk to them, and they explain kind of how Dark Souls works, and, uh, through them, you, you create your character, because they ask you what's your name and all that stuff, so, so the character creation isn't immediate, it's not like you hit new game and boom, create your character, it's now, like, it's kind of, it's a bit delayed, and it's built into the story way better, so I was really, really pleased to see that, and, uh, yeah, um, uh, the game has more people in it. Dark Souls and, I guess, Demon Souls. Maybe not so much Demon Souls. It feels a little more like Demon Souls in terms of how many people are in, like, the kind of starting areas. But yeah, like, like the, um, there's, like, the four witches in that one room, and then, uh, um, are in their little hut, and then there's, uh, it, when you finally get to, like, I guess, the main, like, town area, it's, like, this big, sunny, um, waterside town, uh, and there's just, like, there's just people everywhere, and, and covenants, and, and, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it feels a little more populated, but once you get into, like, a deep, dark dungeon, you're all alone, and, uh, it totally sucks. Um, what else? Uh, my brain is not working. Um, Evil Sunbro, got the Moonlight Greatsword, um, definitely not, <laughs> not as impressive as Dark Souls, but, uh, I'm convinced there's, there's a better version of it. Um, we tried to read all the item descriptions and stuff. I'm sure Brandon remembers more than I do. Remember, go to Brandon's Twitch channel after you watch this video. It's really important because he's got all the cool spoilers. Um, he's doing like an Ask Me Anything um, about it. But uh, um, Brandon made it to the Mirror Knight uh, during the playthrough. So the, the Mirror Knight is actually pretty close to the starting area. Pretty close is a relative term. We were, we were speedrunning some shit, that's for sure. But... Uh, um, <clears throat> Yeah, character creation's amazing, uh, everything's amazing. Guys, the network test and the o early betas and everything, everything's changed. The inventory system, the, the interface, every, all of that shit is gone, it's brand new and different. And like I said, like, like four ring slots, they put that in certainly after the uh, network test. Um, yeah, there's just, <clears throat> there's so much crazy shit, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so... I'll be streaming as soon as I can when I get back uh, to Toronto um, after I recover from jet lag and all that stuff. Uh, and then I'll do my own, like, ask me anything, and I'll get those guys on Skype, and we'll have a big party about Dark Souls 2, and it'll be good times. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, hopefully I, uh, I, I got you guys some goodies. <laughs> um, Namco Bandai was amazing, so... Uh, um, yeah, everyone was just so awesome and answered all kinds of questions that wouldn't, like, obviously spoil stuff that they weren't supposed to talk about, but they were super amazing and they want to work with the community uh, going forward, which is an amazing, um, <clears throat> just an amazing thing. So hopefully uh, in the near future we'll be doing some stuff with Namco Bandai and, uh, um, and FromSoft and helping to, you know, promote us and promote them and... Uh, get Dark Souls 2 in more hands than um, it would normally. So again, guys, i got to go catch a flight, but thank you so much for uh, for tuning in, and go to Brandon's channel right now, twitch.tv slash Brandon505, and uh, he will answer all the rest of the things that I missed, which is like all of them. So guys, have a good one, and I will see you in when I stream next. <laughs> Thanks.